Hey, it's Dennis here. Welcome back to the shop. Now, I realize that not everybody has, um, you know, a full room that they can dedicate uh, to uh, wood carving. And, um, and when I go to the cottage, I don't have a full room, so I carry my stuff back and forth. And I also, um, you know, when I go to uh, classes or clutches, um, uh, I bring uh, a little grab bag. So uh, I've got some storage containers here that uh, I've put together and uh, show you what it's all about and um, how I do it. So the first one uh, came from the dollar store. I think this was Dollarama. Um, and, you know, they're about one or two bucks anyway. Uh, these are great for uh, storing your gouges. Um, they don't do so well with a full-size knife because unfortunately, well, this one's okay. Uh, but uh, if I went to a larger knife, uh, say this one here, it, it's just not going to fit. So. Uh, it works for some things and it doesn't for others, but for, for one or two bucks, not a bad deal at all. Um, so there's that one. Uh, the other one is a little bit larger, and this is made by a company called Plano. Um, those of you who are fishermen or uh, fisher persons uh, will know Plano. Uh, you get them at a sporting goods store and you can actually get the box that holds these. Um, this one here is a little bit larger and I've got a whole bunch of uh, blanks. So when I go up to the cottage, uh, I don't have a, uh, a, a saw there, so I'll make up a bunch of blanks and uh, I can just carve away. Uh, quite often up at the cottage, so I'm pretty lucky, there's lots of branches and trees and I can just take a walk through the woods and find something kind of cool to carve, but I've always got some basswood. And then this is my, uh, my main grab box, and uh, uh, this one's kind of neat. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here, so why don't we switch over to the uh, other camera, and I'll talk to you about what's in there. All right, so we've got different, uh, different tools in this one here. This is another Plano, so it came from, uh, well, in, in Canada here, I bought a Canadian Tire, but I'm sure any sporting goods store is going to have them. Um, so what have I got in here? I got a glove. Uh, we talked about gloves in the very first video, and uh, this one here came from Amazon. It's a um, it's supposed to be a Clevelar thread, and I uh, haven't even used this one yet. Uh, you'll notice it's got these little um, uh, raised um, plastic, kind of silicone, whatever uh, panels, and, and I really like those uh, versus the smooth ones because uh, it gives me a good grip on my project. Uh, so something to look at. And these were not very expensive. I think they were seven dollars for the pair. Now, unlike uh, this glove, which can be uh, can go in on either hand, uh, this one can only go in one hand. So, uh, you know, you pay seven dollars for a pair of these, but you can only use one glove. You'll pay fifteen dollars for a set of these, but you can use both gloves uh, on either hand. So, uh, whatever you choose. Anyway, little glove, a uh, little thumb guard. Uh, these are handy for when you're doing uh, uh, pull cuts. Okay, or when you're when you're pushing your material uh, towards your uh, towards a thumb um, just an extra little guard so I always throw it I don't use it very often but every now and then I you know be aware of where your knife's going to go and uh, that that's in there a uh, little strop uh, we talked about that that's a homemade strop that I made a little bit of uh, um, honing compound okay and uh, so that's in there uh, some some spare blades for my uh, uh, razor knife or exacto knife um, this one here has got the rubber handle which is quite nice and uh, uh, makes it uh, a little easier to hang on to um, get these at the dollar store this is a, um, a nail brush okay so uh, great for uh, cleaning up your project in and around um, grab one of those I've got them all over the shop here but I always keep one in my go bag uh, my handy dandy uh, Drake knife my uh, inch and a half knife one of my favorite ones uh, probably my number one go-to knife uh, we talked about uh, how much I like the handle on this one um, over here I've got two flex cuts I got a detail flex cut and a rough out one and uh, uh, so anyway with these three knives I can I can carve pretty much anything I, I'm after um, I got a, uh, a V gouge. Okay, this one here is made by Han. Uh, unfortunately, I just found out that the maker of this one, who's Jim Han, uh, has passed away. So if you have one of these, it's a collector's item. And uh, so hang on to that. Uh, another little um, a sweep gouge. Uh, this is a uh, number seven. Okay, so I like to use that for uh, getting into different places. So hang on to that. A uh, little dental pick or um, um, 
O-ring pick, uh, depending on which. These you get at, um, uh, gosh, uh, you can get them at uh, Harbor Freight in the States, uh, Princess Auto in Canada. I'm sure you can find them at, a, at any, most tool places. Uh, they're great for uh, cleaning up uh, when you want to get in there and uh, pull out all the little burrs and stuff uh, around your 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 project so there we go three tools in that one uh the next set of uh, gouges oh pencil you always need a pencil for marking up your model uh or your uh, your blank and so i've got uh, a set of these are japanese carving tools i believe they're called i got them from lee valley in ottawa um Lee Valley is also in the States. Um, their catalog, or if you're lucky enough, you have a store, uh, you can go get them. Uh, so I got a little sweep gouge there, a uh, smaller sweep gouge that looks like about a number seven. Um, you've got an angle cut. You know what? I've never used that particular blade, but uh, I'm sure someday it'll come in handy. Um, I don't know if I, I didn't mention in the other video uh, about uh, sets. Uh, sets are kind of, um, well, a lot of carvers are going to tell you, you know, uh, you bought a set, but uh, you just don't, um, well, I'll fight with that one a little bit later. Uh, let me see here. Uh, another, this is a wide sweep. Uh, oh no, it's actually a flat blade. So uh, this is nice for, uh, you got to watch a flat blade because it'll dig in and take off on you, but it's nice in around corners for taking off material and, and for cleaning up in uh, maybe uh, uh, in along the back of the legs or something like that on a little caricature, that kind of handy. And the last one here is a little uh, quarter inch gouge. So uh, these were, uh, I think, $29 for the set of five and razor, razor sharp and um they're ready to go right out of the box. So uh, take a look at those Lee Valley tools. And uh, uh, so it's a nice little piece in the go kit. Uh, I'll say that um, uh, the handles uh, feel a little flexible, but I've, I've never had any issues with them. So I keep them in my go box. Uh, I bought another set uh, very similar to them. And again, uh, these came from uh, Lee Valley tools and they're Japanese made. Uh, these have a wooden handle, uh, pretty much the same tool. Um, but uh, I like these for the shop. I keep those for uh, for the go bag. And then on the other side here, I always carry uh, another little piece of wood with me. Uh, sometimes I want to do some test cuts, or this may be even my little project. That's about the size of the caricatures that I like to make uh, for the most part. And then uh, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I've got, uh, well, you know, Band-Aids. And if you cut yourself, if you're out in the woods and you cut yourself, um, you know, you're going to need something there. Uh, so I carry uh, a bunch of different Band-Aids, uh, different styles of Band-Aids. Uh, some antiseptic wipes in case uh, I do cut myself. Uh, luckily enough, I, I've never had to use that. I keep some uh, lens wipes because uh, my eyeglasses, uh, every now and then I'll get a smudge, so keep them clean. I uh, keep a um, anti antibiotic uh, ointment in case I have to clean a wound. Again, never had to use it. And uh, lastly, um, uh, a little tube of um, uh, super glue in case I have to either uh, seal a wound or, or glue a nose back onto a, a little caricature because uh, every now and then we slip. So uh, that's what's in there. And uh, if you're curious about those, uh, they're a dollar store, pro, a dollar store uh, acquisition as well. And you can find them uh, in, a, in a little bottle like this. You get three or four tubes for a buck. Uh, so I always pick them up and keep them in stock. Uh, so take a look for those handy to have in your box. Uh, lastly in here, did I miss it? I'm sure I did because uh, I always carry it in there. I guess I did miss it, uh, but I always carry a little ruler in there. Okay, so that, oh, no, there it is. It's kind of hidden. Um, so the little six inch ruler with the metric scale on one side. Uh, I like the uh, metal ones. Uh, because uh, you can hold that onto your piece of wood, uh, measure down, uh, you can use it as a straight edge for your lines, and uh, you know, good little tool to have, it's uh, used quite a bit. So there you go, that's my go bag. Uh, I normally throw all of these in a gym bag and uh, off I go, so there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down, that's okay, but uh, if you give me a thumbs down, drop me a comment, let me know what you didn't like about it, that way I can make it better for the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.